going? Uh, a thousand pounds, senorita. Hey, Kit! Kit Carson! El Toro. What are you doing in San Diego? Oh, I'm here to attend the christening. Into my family has been born another member. Congratulations. A niece or a nephew? A nephew. And what a boy. What business brings you here, amigo? I'm on my way back from Taos with routine dispatches. Oh, you must have had a long, hard ride through the desert. Yes, I plan to lay over for a day and give them a rest. Yeah, not to mention yourself. Would you care to join me for lunch? The food is very good at the hotel. Is that the only attraction? Well, she's blonde. She's got good ankles, but a bad temper. Would you hold these packages for me, please? Sorry to have kept you waiting, Stanley, but I thought that artist never would let me go. Every time I yawned, he asked me to please hold the pose. For whom were you posing, pal? Gracia Navarro. That sign painter? He's no artist. But I've seen the painting. There is an artist in the studio, but it is not Gracia Navarro. And Pearl, I advise you to collect your money in advance. You don't know it, but Navarro holds the winning ticket for the Mexican National Lottery. I'm sure Pearl will excuse me. No doubt you and Stanley have much to talk about, not having seen each other since last night. I despise that man. I suppose the feeling is mutual. Tell me, what sort of a picture is Gratian doing with you? Portrait? No, a poster for the Mexican National Lottery to show his appreciation for winning the grand prize. going to do about us? I'm sorry, Pearl. It's very generous of you to think so much of me. With all my debts and the lien on the ranch, I just can't afford to marry any woman. Unless, of course, she happens to have a barrel of money. That seems to leave me out of the picture, doesn't it? It puts no other woman into it, preferably. Is that remark supposed to ease my broken heart? Thank you for your courtesy. Your manners always were perfect. That is how things are between La Pella and her Stanley. But he does not know quite how to handle women. And why not? Well, he said there was no other woman, yet he needs money. And the whole world is full of rich widows. Father Kerrigan. Kit Carson is it yourself now. In person. And El Toro. Oh, the sight of you is good for these eyes. And bad for my fingers. So oh, is sorry I am. A little liniment, a few days, and it'll all be forgotten. And now, my friends, I do you the honor to present my protege, the most gifted young artist in all California, Manuel Navarro. It is I who am honored, Senor Carson. 
A pleasure, Signor El Toro. Mark my words. One of these days, Manuel's paintings will hang in the finest galleries and churches of the world. The boy is the inheritor of a great genius. I take it your father is also an artist? No, and a pity it is. His father is only a poor sign painter. No longer poor. My father just received word that he holds the winning ticket in the Mexican National. The saints preserve us. 100,000 pesos. 50,000 American dollars. Caramba, king's ransom. There's an answer to our prayer. My son, that ticket is your ticket to Mexico City. There you'll study under Serrano and under De La Tour. There all your father's ambitions for you will finally be realized. There you'll learn how to create great masterpieces. Kit, I have a sudden idea. Would you be bound to Monterey? Yes, with dispatches for the governor. Good. I want you to take an example of this boy's work to His Excellency with my compliments. Young as he is, Manuel Navarro is already qualified for distinguished patronage. It'd be a great pleasure. Come, I'll show you the way. is still beaten. I think he has a chance. Shall I bring water or wine? Never give anything to an unconscious man. Wait until he can swallow. Who could have done this? Who has a grudge against your father? He was the friend of everyone. The motive is obvious. Here is his wallet, and the lottery ticket is gone. Maybe we can stop payment on the lottery ticket. I'll notify the authorities. Take care of him, Toro. Can you get me a doctor, please? That I will. This is a part of growing up, Manuel. The time comes when we do for our parents what they used to do for us. We keep them quiet till the doctor comes. This way, doctor. Padre Kerrigan, I have some ideas. Indeed? Relating to the solution of this crime, I must go to work them out with my amigo Kit. Do you mind to remain in charge? Not at all, not at all. Muchas gracias, Padre. And take good care of our little Manuel. He's a very remarkable boy. ¿Qué tal? Not good. The Mexican consul can't stop payment on a stolen ticket. Why not? Because every Mexican bank has been ordered to honor the winning ticket. So again, the job is up to us. It looks that way. And we'll start off with those three at the hotel that were sitting right behind us. Agreed. But I do not believe that the senorita would almost kill a man to get it. Oh, no? No, no, it must have been one of the men that was with her. And who do you suspect? Well, the one that said he needed money to pay the debt. The man she called Stanley. See, si, Stanley. We go to the hotel and check, and then we get a lead on him. Mira, he's making the getaway already.
What is this, a holdup? No, a checkup. Let's see your wallet. Not a sign of it. A sign of what? A clever man would carry it somewhere else. You're right. Let's see your head. You're smarter than I thought. Get off your horse. What for? Out of respect for the bullets that Senor Carson and I could put into you. Senor Carson? You're Kid Carson? That's right. I'm Stanley Morgan. I own the MB Ranch just south of here. I saw you at lunch today, but of course I didn't recognize you. What's all this about? Robbery and attempted murder. Navarro is under a doctor's care, and the winning lottery ticket has been stolen. You were one of the three people who knew about it. So naturally, I'm suspected. But I can't prove an alibi for every moment of my time in town. By the gal you had lunch with? By competent witnesses. If you doubt my word, come out to the house. Search me thoroughly as you please. Thanks. Maybe you can save us some time by telling us the name of the other man you had lunch with. His name is Bernardino. He runs the art shop near the hotel. We'll check on him. Toro? Apparently, Senor Bernardino is not here at the moment. Quite apparently. I'll find out where he lives. You stay here in the store in case he should come back. Senorita, how did you come in here? What do you want? He's out, and he won't be back for quite a while. Well, still, I must wait for him. Meantime, I have the company of a lovely senorita, no? Sorry, I have other things to do. Business or pleasure? Look, my friend, I'm a very busy woman. Oh, but surely not too busy to spend a few moments with me while I wait for Bernardino. You don't want to see him. You've been following me. <laughs> if I had this day to live over again, I would follow you. Why? Well, let's say that you've captivated El Toro. But we'll get around to that later. Right now, I'm investigating a stolen ticket on the lottery. What's that to me? Well, you can help, senorita. I don't know anything about it. But you must. I heard you telling your friends at the restaurant how Gracian Navarro won the grand prize. Why shouldn't I? It's all over town. Now, if you'll kindly let me pass. But, senorita, I need your help. Get away from me. Por qué? Maybe you have something that does not belong to you. A ticket, huh? Let me alone! Senorita, hand it over, please. Don't touch me! Que pasa? What's going on? This man is attacking me. What? <laughs> He's gone, but he was here a moment ago. You been seeing things again? Well, if I did, then there's also not a dead man behind this screen. Bernardino, he's dead, all right. Now, tell me what happened. Well, I find the blonde senorita here. She acts like she has the ticket, so I try in a polite way to detain her. But this other man, how did he come in? By the front door, when he hears her screaming, he thinks I'm hurting her, so he attacks me, and then she's gone pronto. And then he goes. You had a good look at him. Could you identify him? Well, I can describe him, because I also remember seeing him at the hotel. 
Well, let's get over there and check him. But what of Bernardino? He'll keep. probably name the man who jumped you, if you can identify him. Well, it's about your size. He has a black tie. He looks like he might be an artist. And you let him take you. I underestimate him, amigo. He's a better man than I think. But don't worry. We'll meet again. Stay as you are, senores. I've got a gun. Pay for me. Quietly, please. Oh, you were an officer. Now, who are you? Lieutenant Matek, Mexican police. When you say so before this. Since when does a detective introduce himself to a couple of suspects? We thought you were a suspect. Everything's under control, Toro. These gentlemen are officers of the law. Policia? Detectives. Our job is to find a stolen lottery ticket. Make any progress? Si, senor. We will find the missing ticket upon this man. On me? Let me reconstruct your crime. You knew the ticket had been stolen from Garcia Navarro, did you not? Si, senor. You but, suspected uh, Bernardino, the art dealer. You went to his store, did you not? I didn't, but let me explain. You did not plan murder, which takes courage. You have more the, the look of a blackmailer. A what? You demanded the share of the proceeds of the crime, but Bernardino refused. There was a quarrel and you stabbed him. Senor, you... Search it. Search it. I am not thinking. Slayer! This has gone far enough. Who are you? I'm Kit Carson, the man who notified the authorities of the stolen ticket. And this is my partner, El Toro. Ay, Dios mio. A comedy of errors. And all this time, we should have been working together. My apologies, senor. From now on, let us cooperate. Con mucho gusto. Well, this is your case. Now, you lead off. Gracias. We plan our operations. Up until now, we have eliminated suspects A and B. You mean you have suspects we know nothing about? Suspects A and B turned out to be yourself and Senor Carson. Well, don't you have any guilty suspects, like the senorita who you so bravely defended from me? Who is she? Well, well I don't know much about her. Her name is Pearl, and she was sitting at the table next to us while we were launching. Two men were with her. One's already been killed, and the other one we've already checked up on. Who is he? An American rancher named Stanley Morgan. Yeah, and he seems to be very much in love with her. And to whom she's bringing that ticket to right now. The rancho of Senor Morgan is just three miles south of here. But we have no horses. But we have. Let's go, Toro. Andale! now, my son. There has been no change, Padre. Well, the doctor said we'd be seeing an improvement very soon. There has been no sign. Padre, I must go to confession. I must ask forgiveness. And what have we been doing that is so sinful? I have been disloyal and very selfish. How, my son? When we learned of the winning number, I left my father to tell you the good news. I thought only of the money, of myself, of my ticket to Mexico City. A natural thing for a lad to do. I should have thought of my father, of the dangers and the evil so much money might bring. I should not have left him alone. If he dies, I will never paint another picture as long as I live. 
Yeah. When will my son? Father. The, the, the ticket, the winning ticket. Do not worry, Gracian. All will be well. Hurry, lad. Go for the doctor. Tell him your father is conscious at last. Yes, Padre. Uh. You. What were you doing? Ah, oh, the same old story. Trying to figure a way to make ends meet. Aren't you even going to kiss me? Well, that's better. Yeah, nothing's better. In fact, it's much worse. I might as well call it quits and turn the ranch over to the creditors. Would fifty thousand dollars help you solve your problem, Stanley? Of course, but where would I get that kind of money? From me. And uh, where would you get it? I happen to hold the winning ticket for the Mexican National. I know all about that ticket. Lost to Gracia Navarro. You stole it from him. Bernardino stole it. I got it from him, but he'll never talk. If I know Bernardino, he'll talk plenty. He's dead. You never liked him, did you? After what he did to Navarro, he got exactly what he deserved. Your logic is wonderful, Pearl. But I'm afraid I'm beginning to think as you do. I'm glad you've come to your senses where I'm concerned. After I cash this ticket, there's bound to be inquiries. How do I account for something that's been stolen twice before? There's the legal angle, Stanley. A wife and husband can't be forced to testify against each other. You haven't forgotten a thing, have you? I told you I'd find a way. That's very smooth, but from now on, you're on your own. What do you mean? I'm not fool enough to marry anyone like you. I'm going to cash this ticket and keep the full amount. You wouldn't dare. Try and stop me. Manuel's paintings, I'm liking this one the best. I hope the governor will be pleased. I'm sure he will. In years to come, it'll take its place among the art treasures of California. Uh, what's it called? It has no title. But every picture has a title, like Venus. But this is not a picture of a lady. Allow me, senores, to make a suggestion. It is a small, but it includes many things. It conveys the spirit of the vast and wonderful land to the south of us. Let us call it the ticket to Mexico. Ah, very well put, Gracian. Inscribe it on the back, my boy. The case is closed, senores. Pearl Payton and Stanley Morgan are in jail. And I, myself, have cashed the winning ticket. The proceeds have been deposited to your account in the bank. How can I ever thank you? If you must thank anyone, thank Kit Carson and El Toro. Be seen, Yataro. Vaya con Dios. <laughs> 